Good morning. Thanks for joining our weekly webinar. Um, today's topic is progress billing, and we have put this together in five easy steps. First and foremost, um, if you aren't familiar with TAG and our services, we are um, specialists in construction accounting and software technology for the industry. I'm Leilani Evans, Construction Software Sales Associate at TAG. I've been with the company now for um, going on five years, and I really specialize in support for my clients, kind of just troubleshooting all of um, the needs, things that aren't happening between the fields, back office, um, getting managers the reports that they want to see. I'm going to go ahead and launch polling um, for some questions that will kind of help me um, evaluate and kind of move along how I'm going to adjust what I'm uh, speaking about. It is a really high level overview of the steps to progress billing in Sage 100 Contractor. We had a few attendees who um, registered who I'm not familiar with. So um, just in case you aren't familiar with Page 100 Contractor at all, uh, this is something that is super, super beneficial to streamlining how you do your work. I know um, I help uh, a lot of people moving off of QuickBooks or even other construction accounting systems that still don't allow them to automate their uh, progress billing. So they actually have to manually create everything, even though it's a construction accounting system. So that's one, um, one piece of feedback that I get from clients um, as we're looking at this system. So let's move on, jump in. Thank you for answering the poll. Um, so that we have kind of an idea of where everyone's at. So again, this is going to be a really high level overview of the steps that are uh, involved with doing your progress billing in Stage 100 Contractor. We've kind of broken it down into um, these five easy steps. Uh, the first is progress billing setup. So that's where you'll put in all of your information. Um, we'll talk about the import and update options. Um, to allow you to get away from manually creating those. So you'll be able to just bring in all of the detail from your budget and then you can make changes from there. Automation is super key. Um, with any area of Sage 100 Contractor, I encourage our clients to really take advantage of any automation that's available. Um, so that we'll talk about. And then we'll talk about processing the progress bills, also updating costs from change orders and bringing those in as well, and then how um, you print um, and submit these and what formats would be available for you. Okay, so let's jump into it. So this is a screenshot of what the uh, progress billing setup looks like. So you'll go into 3.7 of your C100 contractor system and you'll click on this window, this button, excuse me, down here, uh, called setup, and that will open up this window where, you, where you'll be able to put in um, all of your information. There are user-defined fields here so that you can additionally track things that Sage 100 Contractor are, isn't already set up to include. Um, you can um, put in your retention rate, um, all of your default information as well. So um, it's pretty simple and easy. You'll put in all this information, and then um, you will need to enter in um, all of the header information back in that 3.7 um, progress billing window. So um, here it is, we've kind of put some notes here um, as well as to what kind of formats are needed for uh, this system. The items with asterisks are required, so you will need to put in something into these fields in order to save the record. Um, so as long as you have those pieces of information, you can kind of populate and build on that um, as you'd like with those additional fields. Uh, I did send out the uh, presentation PowerPoint printout to all of our um, registrants. We had a couple who registered a little bit late, so if you did not receive that, um, feel free to email me and I'll send that over to you so that you have that um, to reference. Okay, 
So um, there are some options here um, when you're creating uh, your progress billing. So heading up to the uh, toolbar menu up at the top, you'll hit options and uh, you'll have these two options down here, allow editing um, scheduled dollar amount and then allow direct void of invoice. Those things you can check off. Um, so definitely want to make sure it's all set up correctly. Um, yeah, so changes won't be allowed unless you do have that um, checked off. So make sure everything is set up the way you want. Okay, so let's talk about importing and updating options available with Sage 100 contractors. So in that same options menu, you have these import options. Um, go down to import, and then your two options will come up here. You'll ha have import budget and then import proposal. Um, proposal will give you a couple other options, but um, most of our customers will go ahead and just bring it over from the budget. It is not um, it is not required that you keep everything exactly the same, so you can just bring that over, import everything, and then make your changes as you see fit. So not something that um, confines you at all, but definitely helps, again, with that automation and streamlining things. Okay, so then you'll complete the grid. So you have, um, you know, these items here that you'll want to, to complete that I've um, noted here. Enter either um, current complete or percent complete. Um, if the retention rate that you put into your um, original setup is not your defaulted rate that you'd want to keep, you can edit that here. Um, current stored and then whether or not it's taxable or not. Then you'll head back up to options and you'll hit calculate. It'll give you these two um, options here on calculating that grid. So you'll pick one of those and you'll move forward. So next thing we'll talk about is updating costs from change orders. Um, you'll go ahead and head right back up to that menu, update, um, you'll pick change orders and you have two options here. So the two methods that are available, you can incorporate changes to costs in the individual cost code, or the second method here, you can include that total amount of the change order as a separate line item. So totally up to you what you'd like to pick. Sage 100 Contractor will allow you to do both. Um, and then we'll um, process here. So now that you have uh, created the progress billing automatically or manually um, in the system, you, you can do either. Again, you can um, change up what you import as well. Um, then once you've updated to reflect all of the change order costs, calculated the billing amounts. Again, this for every um, additional application, it will um, bring in all of the information for you. So definitely, I think American contractor customers have really liked that it does that for you um, and you don't have to go back to your last um, application. So again, um, very simple, easy. Then you go ahead and submit. You can print. Um, let's talk about what those um, print options are. With Sage 100 Contractor, you have many different formats available. So when you hit the print menu, you get this report printing menu that you're probably familiar with. All of these different templates come out of the box with the system. Additionally, you can uh, hit modify report here and then just make little tweaks. Um, we have um, a report and forms designer um, webinar that we did previously that talks about all the steps to making small changes, things like your font, your title, um, anything like that. It's very easy to do. So. You can uh, edit any one of these, save it as a template, and go to that um, particular template moving forward. Uh, you have these forms here, which are if you are actually using the copyrighted um, G702 and 703, I think, forms, you can actually uh, print the values uh, onto the actual copyrighted page, just feed it into your printer and it'll have everything line up correctly for you. If you don't have the copyrighted forms, all of these formats look very similar. Um, and this is an example of one of those, again, uh, very similar to the actual copyrighted format. AIA 
um, progress billing. So you've got your cover page and then your schedule values here. So that was, in a nutshell, five steps to progress bills. I hope it was helpful. I did receive your, um, your polling, and, and we will be offering some more in-depth uh, training available in this online format in a sort of classroom, online classroom setting. So I'll make sure uh, to get the, that information out um, and definitely give feedback to possibly have this be one of the uh, topics offered. I'll open it up to any of our attendees for questions. And um, if you guys don't have any questions, feel free to, to jump off. This will also be recorded and published on YouTube. So if you would like to pass this along to anyone on your team and um, just look out for this next week on our YouTube channel and you'll be able to, to share that link. Okay, I don't see any questions coming through, so I wanted to thank you guys for joining us today. Again, any other topic requests, um, email those over to me and we'll try to get those in for next quarter. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great week.